Did you know that the British countryside has a white population? And did you know that if you point this out to the non-white population in Britain, they get offended? Apparently, according to a BBC presenter, that's the case. It is fascinating, the obsession with identity politics in this country. Even those who think that they are trying to help uh, to not cause more division, by bringing it up, they are causing division. This is according to a BBC radio presenter, uh, Nihal uh, Athanayaki, uh, who said that the British countryside's white and middle class image puts off the Asian population so those who want to visit the british countryside those who might want to work in the farming industry if they're non-white apparently the people who go on you know social media or in media and they, they point out that <laughs> british countryside uh, as compared to the urban uh, areas in this country is still relatively white you see the last place that we have that's still white that puts off the non-white people. I mean, seriously, this was supposed to be in defense of Britain and the British countryside, this rant. But I, I genuinely don't understand this. So, Neil said that there is this barrier, a perception, often perpetuated by social media trolls, that the countryside is inherently white and middle class. Well, it's definitely generally white. Now, in terms of class, I really don't care about class, but uh, um, it depends how you define it. Because farmers, they work, so they're part of the working class, I guess. Um, and But they have good upbringing, people in the countryside, they have etiquette, they have good British values, they care about family values, they care about the community spirit, they care about their country, uh, king and flag and everything else. But apparently that's not really normal in the urban areas like this city, London. And in places like Manchester or Birmingham or Glasgow especially. No, things are different. Uh, this country is becoming more divided than before. Not necessarily just based on skin colour. It's never been about that especially. But also not really about class. The country was always generally divided. Not in, in, in a true definition of the word. Not in a negative way. There was always a divide between the urban side and the rural side. That's always been the case, even 200 years ago, 300 years ago. And that was the whole point of the debate, the creation of the Tories and the Whigs who became the Liberals. There was a massive debate even back then. But now it's becoming very, very damaging because it's now combined with skin color, with this, with that, with how you look, with how well, what, who, what you want to eat, what you want to, you know, vegans and everything and what who you want to date, who you want to marry. And it's, it's completely chaotic. And this is completely the fault of the so-called liberal progressives who are not liberal and they are not progressive. They are regressive, illiberal idiots who are completely causing more division in this country. And they are bringing down the basic identity of this Anglo-Saxon island and the British values. And we don't know where we're going to go next. But it, considering that it's also combined with this new wave of globalism, then how on earth are we going to be protecting our sovereignty and our national identity? And it was no, never supposed to be in a hateful way or in, in some sort of inward-looking, isolated, little England way. Just leave us alone. We will be friendly to the world. Don't tell us what to do. Is it hard to understand? Apparently it is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.